What's up guys? It's another uh, light fixture video. This is the same light fixture we took last time. We took the T12 ballast out, put the T8 ballast in. We're going to do the same thing now, only we're going to go up to T5s. We're going to make it a two lamp T5 fixture. Um, T5s are better, more light output. We're going to need to change out the ballast and the sockets on the end we're gonna have to change out. I got a couple different styles. That one, then I got that one. And light fixture I said, got it for like 15 bucks at Home Depot. Ballast, I got this one off of eBay for 15 bucks, free shipping. Um, the sockets I had laying around, but you can get those like 10 for three bucks on eBay. Get them shipped from China. but. So, pop this cover off. This is the same ballast we put in here last time. We're going to pull that all out, take those sockets out, put in our new ballast, and the only issue we're going to have is figuring out how to mount the new sockets. But let's yank this shit out and see what happens. This so all came out relatively easy. One screw was holding it in. The other side just sat in this little notch. One nut and bolt holding that in there. See, the T5 ballast is so much longer, we're not going to be able to use that little clip. I'm probably just going to send a couple little self tapper screws. Hold this down right in the middle. And then we'll figure out how we're going to mount up our sockets. Looks good. Hopefully, this ballast works. It was used. <laughs> so, believe it or not, a T5 four foot lamp is shorter than a T8 four foot lamp. I don't know who's measuring these fucking things, but whatever. So what I ended up having to do was move two of the sockets in to match up with the lamp length. These two I just left on the end. These two just popped a couple holes so I could feed my wires through. Mounted them with that little bracket. I just bent it back the other way so I could send a screw through. The holes don't have to be that big, but that's just what happened with the old uni bit. If you don't have one, probably get one. They're pretty cool. So I'm gonna close this up, put the lamps in. Plug it in, see if it works. Now, if you ever forget how to wire this thing, there's a diagram right here. You know, reds to one side and a yellow to the other, and then a yellow to one and two blues to the other on the opposite lamp. Pretty easy to figure out. I'm sure there's some smart people on YouTube with videos on how to do it if you ever forget. So, Let's close this piece of crap up, Let's see if it lights up. Got it closed up. We got our 54 watt T5 lamps in there. I probably should have said this before starting the work, but make sure your damn fixture is unplugged before you start fucking around with the wires. But let's plug it in. Oh, there it goes, huh? So, out of that same fixture that came with the T12 ballast, we changed it from T12s to T8s, and then from T8s to T5s. So now, believe it or not, this is a pretty damn good fixture. Use it as a shop light. I'm going to use it as a veg light. But there you go. So, 15 bucks for a ballast, 15 bucks for a fixture. Plus the cost of lamps, sockets and shit, maybe $40. Get yourself a two lamp T5 fixture. That's getting pretty bright to look at right now, but save yourself some money. And this is for you guys talking shit about uh, my T8s. How about now? Here's some T5s for you. So what else can we do with this fixture? Maybe 
don't know if I'm actually going to do it, but maybe we'll put some, we'll take the T5s out and we'll run some fucking LEDs in it. Why not? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. Maybe not. Whatever. Smoke a lot here for Mass Grows TV.